With the 158th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Davion Nixon, defensive tackle, Iowa. I could do lean on me. <laughs> Just right on the spot, gotcha. Okay. Um, lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Growing up, I've always been singing. I had a solo one time and I killed it, but I was so nervous that I stared straight back at the doors because I couldn't look at the fans. Being in choir taught me a lot of different lessons. You know, you gotta be able to be humble and understand how to control yourself and your voice and what to say and how to say it. And choir was a lot of fun growing up. Well, the Big Ten and tackles for loss had an unbelievable play against Penn State for a touchdown. He's a really talented guy. He really is. I think this one year, though, I think when you look at him, Reese is what made him a guy who I thought could maybe be a second round draft choice. That worst, the third. At this point, he becomes a value type pick. Think about the kind of year he had 13 and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks. Penn State game, he had that 71 yard interception return for a touchdown. Watching that number 54 flash that athletic ability. When he gets off blocks in fast fashion, utilizes a secondary move. When the initial one is thwarted, he can be disruptive. The problem that he runs into is when he gets stuck on blocks, his hand usage is all over the place, and he doesn't maximize all that talent. So I think that the dominance came and went. It was inconsistent. But if you saw him in the right game, and I did, Todd, when he was on, you said, boy, wow, this kid is impressive. But he's kind of a one year wonder, and he did have some games where he wasn't playing up to the level of that talent that probably led to him sliding a bit but when you have that kind of ability if you put your mind to it and your coach properly you can become a factor in the nfl that was the play i was talking about right there yeah <laughs> <laughs>